Okay, this is old Pam. And this is not a spring chick. Uh, and today we're going to be talking about the uh, paranoia that the democratic the democratic supporters of the president seem to be in over um, uh, this presidential campaign. Come on, do you think it's really just paranoia? Oh, it's paranoia because they know. Okay, for the first time in our nation's history, it is irrelevant. The presidential election is totally irrelevant because it, 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 Barack Obama does not need a single vote of the people for president to remain president of the United States. That's not where the votes are important. Not? No. The, Why? The, okay, let put it. The United, the, all the Democrats, all the Republicans, and I, unless you're really a stupid member of the press, you know that the president of the United States cannot be removed from office by election. Well, you know, part of it is that is new to most people because they always think that, well, if you didn't get in office, then you just step down. No, that's not the way it works. The good founding fathers, whom the president said is those white haired, you know, those white wig guys that are out of re are relevant with the 21st century, never gave a single thought that someone like Franklin Delano Roosevelt would come along who would want to be president continually. And, uh, and, Barack Obama has a history of doubling down on everything, and since he doubled down on everything, why would anyone assume that he intends to leave office? Because he says that there is too much work to be done to undo what the Republicans and the Democrats have done. And he will flat out listen to him at times. He said that this cannot be accomplished in two terms. Ah, that he tells people he has no intentions of leaving office, and he basically they're going to challenge every every vote that is cast for Romney is going to be challenged by the, the Democratic Party. Every vote. They, well, you can expect that. Yeah. But do you think they're going to? Well, actually, they'll probably protest the Senate vote too. See, a lot of times people think that their vote really doesn't count that much. In this election, it really does. Only on the Senate level, because the Democrats have already agreed they're going to lose the House representatives, and probably with a bigger margin than they lost the last time. Yeah, but if it counts for the presidential vote, then it well, doesn't actually, count for the presidential vote. The president, the vote for the president of the United States is a wasted vote because you could okay, Romney could pick up. 25 million votes to no votes for Obama, and Obama does not have to leave office. Only the President of the United States can only be removed from office by impeachment proceedings. Remember that they wanted to, the Democrats all wanted to punish Bill Clinton for perjury. All of them wanted to punish him. Nothing in the Constitution allows it. He is not allowed, Supreme Court can say nothing to him. They can basically say, well, you are naughty, but they cannot order and they cannot move him from office, they cannot even punish him while he's in office. I mean, I, I sit here and listen to that stuff and it's like when you say he can be removed like from the Senate, is that... They can physically remove him from the presidency of the United States if he is impeached. Versus if he just doesn't get voted for president, he just... He just leaves office. But the, not necessarily. He does not... Okay, if the Senate stays in the president's hands, he will be president for life or as long as the Senate remains the Democratic Regardless of the presidential vote? The presidential vote is irrelevant this year. It doesn't make any difference. It is the vote for the United States Senate that will determine who will be the President of the United States. As long as Harry Reid is in charge of the Senate, they'll, um, <laughs> you'll, you'll see no more budgets passed. You'll see nothing done. Period. Do you think well, Reid will get reelected? No, he got reelected the last time. He got reelected. Oh, that's he, right. And the senators are reelected for six-year terms. Yeah, and so he is there. And basically, um, the Democrats have already shown that there is no. That the people on the left have shown they've already rewritten the the Constitution of the United States once without having a two-thirds vote. They'll okay. just simply rewrite it again to okay. keep it certain that, okay, if Obama stays in as president, look for the United States Senate to rewrite the rules of, of how the Senate is done. Okay, here's a question I have, because I haven't looked at actually how many Senate senators are Democrat versus there are, Republican. Okay, they th there are, the Senate has the majority of Democrats the Senate is expected to okay. And then, how many are up for re-election? Um, two thirds of the senators that are currently up for re-election are Democrats. That's a lot. Are empty spots. That's why they assume they would lose the Senate. And why? Okay, why is Obama basically pissing off his base? 
Well, and because he needs the Senate. Okay, so all Senate elections are local, and base, their base will have to come out and vote for him locally. Now, the key word that you did say is that two thirds of the senators that are up for re-election. That is not the same as two thirds of the Senate are up for no, election. No, only one third is ever up at a time. And part right, of the, for six year term. Part of the senators that are basically, it's not as actually up for re election, is that we have empty Senate seats that are also Democrats. Those are the ones they're scared of. Well, the Democrats it, are afraid they're going to lose those seats, which would turn the Senate over to, to the, the Republicans. Republicans. And then, then, becomes, then comes civil war. Okay. See, now I'm really curious. About, it's like now I want to go back and revisit those numbers because, see, in all those places where the seat is up for election or for filling, you know, some of those places are traditionally Democrat and will vote Democrat no matter what. No, because they're pissed off over. Okay, what happens is the President of the United States pissed them off over health care. Yeah, but see, the President of the United States pissed them off over coal. Coal states are, are heavily Democratic. He also pissed them off over the religious issue, and his coal supporters in those, you know, core supporters in those areas are strongly religious. Well, Okay, here's a question. Like, okay, when it comes out to the election, when Republicans don't like the choices, they don't go out and vote. They don't vote. When right. Democrats don't like the choices, they don't they still vote Democratic? No. The uh, the what happens is the Caucasian voters will always vote left. The uh, Latino voters and the um, and the Afro American voters will simply not come out and vote. Period. The, 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 okay, what happens is. Republican voters may sit on their hands when it comes to the president, but they'll vote for other people unless they put a candidate out that they totally don't want. Then they won't vote. But they will vote unlike Latino voters and Afro-American voters. They will not come to the polls. But see, part of it is that people don't that don't vote is just as hard. I mean, I mean. No, but if you I mean, if you don't like the candidate, see, part of it is that here's a psychology as a voter. You don't support that candidate, so you don't want to vote for him. But you don't vote for the other party. I know, but what happens is a lot of times the states have set their situ fixed it up so you cannot write in candidates anymore. Oh. They have fixed you so that you can't put, uh, you can't, you know, if you don't like either candidate, you're not allowed in many states now to put a candidate in you do like. But people don't understand is that. The public does not choose who's going to run for the office. Mm -hmm. the, the party leaders decide who was going to be on the tickets. They decide who is going to be in the debates beforehand, when the debates are going to be held, where they're going to, who's going to cover it, who's going to ask questions. They, they, they know who they want before the election ever happens. They wanted Hillary Clinton, Democrats wanted Hillary Clinton, not Barack Obama, but when he pulled the race card on the Clintons, the Clintons backed off, which Bill Clinton should never have done. He should have just simply barged right ahead. And so, um, but you know, it's just, uh, it, it, is a, it is a weird election, like I said, that, that, that people, you know, it's an iffy thing whether or not, okay, I, I know people that are sitting there standing on their heads you know, trying to get people to listen, that it isn't the presidential election that's important. You could, okay, we're going to put it this way. Barack Obama could be, Barack Obama, his name could be uh, uh, Saho Ben Obama and be, a, a, you know, a gun-toting Muslim, you know, that blows up the White House. Mm -hmm. He still can be elected president without one vote. Mm -hmm. it's, it, it, it's, it is not important, his vote. He's not, he's not running an election for himself, he's running an election to stir the base up. Well, the Republicans will do this. Like, the Republicans are going to raise your taxes by $2,000 if, 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 you know, if Romney is elected, which can't be done because if they keep the Bush tax cuts, you, you know, they want the tax cuts. But they, Republicans don't necessarily, don't, they don't come in and raise income taxes on people. They'll raise your taxes elsewhere, but they're not known for raising income taxes. Democrats are. But it's all a, it's all a base election. It's not get out the base for the president. It's get out the base for the, the Senate. The Senate is the key to this election. Do we have to worry about the health?